behind us. We got some young guys on the line, and so you know I think reps is the most important thing, and, and they're getting that whether it's in practice or now in the game settings, and and they're starting to improve each week, which is what you can ask for, and, and they're doing it. So you know I'm, I'm excited. Those guys are running hard back there, and it makes it exciting to block for them. Taiwan's kind of a bowling ball. Can he? I mean, if he gets a little space, can he bust one? Oh yeah. I mean I think he's a pretty quick guy too. Obviously, you got kind of two different backs in Dara and in Taiwan, so um, you know it, it makes it nice because they can complement each other and you know they fit different schemes. But they're both hard runners, and that's all you can ask for. They're protecting the ball, and that's what we need. Tom, explain the benefits that you guys saw in film of running the 31 and 32 package with the two fullbacks. That seemed to be really effective for you guys. A number of different areas less uh, on Saturday. You know, I think uh, the coaches they kind of saw something in the defense, and we could take advantage of some things and you know they they put that personnel in and, and we still ran with it I mean you can still run a lot of same schemes out of different personnel groups and so it's just a different way to kind of spice things up and um, you know I think it worked out well for us and that's why they kept kept going with it. How much does Watt and Ramish help you guys as an offensive line in in run blocking in, in that area just having two big experienced blockers back there helping you guys out? That's huge I mean you, know, you can always count on them to take take on a linebacker or, or an outside linebacker, DN staying on the edge, and um, I think they're even getting after the, the D tackles this last game. So, um, you know, that's huge when you can count on those guys to get to get the job done. With all the uh, spread offenses, is Wisconsin's kind of old school with the fullbacks now. You think, and that's maybe a trend, maybe picking up again. Yeah, I mean, I I don't think we really got away from it ever um, too much, and you know now we're really starting to go back to the kind of pounding the ball mentality and and working there from the pass, you know, and complimenting that, but I mean, yeah, we got we got good fullbacks, good running backs, and I think our whole line's coming together, so, you know, we're going to be able to do that the rest of the year, hopefully. When you know you're taking on an Iowa defense, what does that mean to you? What does that say to you, what you have to be able to bring to be successful against them? Yeah, we got to be physical. We got to play with technique, you know, in good inside hands, getting our feet down. Um, you know, they're big guys like us, and so you usually expect a four down um, from them, and um, you know, it's just gonna be a physical game. You gotta, you gotta know that coming in. And, and uh, you know, we got last year's film, the year before that. You know, two good, good examples of it. And so, we can kind of work from there. And um, you, know, you just gotta be ready for a tough game. And it's gonna be a four-quarter uh, fight with them. When you ever play Minnesota, we always talk about the axe and the, how long the rivalry has been going on. What makes the rivalry with Iowa special or unique in your mind? Um, you know, I think especially lately, it's been two teams that are really tough physical teams and uh, they've always been pretty close games I mean I think last year was about two points and the year before that was pretty close as well so um, you know it's going to be a, a tough game and both teams are coming in thinking it's going to be physical and you know it's always usually like that a lot of running the ball and um, I mean it's just fun you know they've been a good team especially lately and you know you're always going to get your best from them. Nothing against Iowa City but